Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm a detailed NFL player, Marquise Lee. Marquise was born on November 25th, 1991, and spent the majority of his life in Inglewood. And from the start, Marquise's life would be hard. Marquise was born to deaf parents who didn't raise him much of his life. Marquise had two older brothers and two sisters, but much of Marquise and his siblings' life, they would bounce between their grandma and several foster homes. And several times, this would lead to him and his siblings being separated. He got to a point where Marquise only seen his parents, grandmother, and siblings at court hearings. Marquise was so young that he didn't understand what was going on around him. One moment he was with his family, and the next he would be placed in different foster homes. Marquise was going through so much early on in his life, it would start to affect him in all aspects. He would be fighting in school and failing all his classes. But after a while, his life would somewhat improve with being able to live with his siblings once again. Around the age of nine years old, Marquise would be living in Inglewood and living in the Queen Street Bloods turf. The Queen Street Bloods are a gang that started in the 80s in Inglewood, which they got their name off a residential street in the area. With all the heavy gang activity going on in the area in the 2000s, the streets had people dying and shootings every day. So Marquise was going outside to a not safe community. Marquise seen a lot going outside in his community, from gang members hanging out, seeing them drinking, smoking, and selling drugs. With these type of influences around him, he thought this lifestyle was normal, and he looked up to the Queen Street Bloods a lot. He seen the money, and also seen the women around. And the biggest factor for Marquise, his big brothers Terrell and Dante were already a part of the Queen Street Bloods, so he felt like a member already. One day when Marquise was around 9 or 10 years old, one of the older bloods asked him did he want to join the gang, which he agreed to. This would lead to him fighting a high school member of the Queen Streets in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Usually gangs initiate put-ons by having multiple people fight new potential members for their put-on, but with him only being around 10 years old, they thought a one-on-one -on -one fight would be fair. Marquise officially being in the gang, he got to hang out with the older boys, but with his older brothers having respect in the area, they didn't let him participate in any violent activity or even selling drugs. When Marquise was around 11 years old, he found a love for football. This would get coaches interested in having him on their Pop Warner teams. He would play for the Inglewood Jets. He became so known in the area, they started calling him the Jerry Rice of Inglewood. Football looked like a promising future for Marquise, but his reality was still bad. Marquise and his sister went back to live with their grandma, but this time, they will be staying in a motel in Inglewood. The motel was called King's Motel, and this motel was heavily infested with drug dealing, drug addicts, and prostitution. Marquise got close to his coaches, and would try to stay away from going to the motel by staying nights at their homes. One day, Marquise's grandma would drop him and his sister off to his football coach's house. She would state that she didn't have enough money for a room, and she would come back to get them later. But the only thing was, she never came back. This would lead to Marquise and his sister living with his coach and his wife for a while. In 2006, tragedy would strike Marquise. When he was around 15 years old, his big brother Tyrell would be shot and killed. This would lead to his other brother Dante going to jail for life for a murder that he committed. Marquise would learn to bottle up his emotions and take it in stride. This made him go harder and want to make it out. Marquise would spend his freshman year of high school at Morningside High School in Inglewood, which was a heavily gang infested high school. And for Marquise, he wanted better and a better opportunity to make it in football. He would get in contact with the dean of a school called Sarah and Gardena. The school was Catholic and had a good sports program, so it took a lot of convincing to be let in. Once he started going to Sarah, Marquise became fast friends with another boy at the school named Steve. Steve came from a good two-parent home, and Marquise loved being at his house. After being over there so much, they allowed him to move in. At Sarah, Marquise would become a star athlete, playing multiple sports and being well known on the football field as well as the basketball court. His passion and drive pushed him to go up and beyond everybody else, and he demanded the same from everybody else around him. Marquise's passion was so much, he would fight teammates and even threaten them if they wasn't playing at a high level or he thought they was being soft. This would get him into anger management. Even with that, his play on the field was so great, it gained him a scholarship to play football at USC. Marquise would have three successful seasons at USC. He finished his freshman season with 73 receptions for over 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns. For Marquise's sophomore season, he finished the season with 118 catches for over 1,700 yards and 14 touchdowns and was named the 2012 Pac-12 Conference Offensive Player of the Year. 
In Marquise last season at USC, he played in only 11 games and recorded 57 catches for 791 yards and four touchdowns. January 3rd, 2014, Marquise announced his decision to forego his senior season and enter the 2014 draft. During his three-year career with USC, he's finished with 248 catches for 3,655 yards and also 29 touchdowns. The Jacksonville Jaguars selected Marquise in the second round with the 39th overall pick of the 2014 NFL Draft. On June 16, 2004, Marquise signed a four-year deal worth $5 million, including $3.8 million guaranteed. Marquise finished his rookie season with 37 catches for 422 yards and one touchdown in 13 games and eight starts. The 2015 season was hampered by injuries for Marquise. He only had 15 catches for 190 yards with limited action. 2016 will be Marquise's most successful season with 63 catches for 851 yards and three touchdowns in 16 games and also six starts. He also returned 18 kickoffs for 545 yards and also a touchdown. Marquise finished the 2017 season with 56 catches for 702 yards and three touchdowns in 14 games and 14 starts. March 13th, 2018, the Jaguars signed Marquise to a four-year, $38 million contract. On August 25th, 2018, in the third preseason game, Marquise suffered a severe knee injury and had to undergo season-ended surgery. Marquise will never be the same after this injury. He will miss the whole 2019 season being injured. The Jaguars will release him in 2020. He's a little bit differently that can help them try to avoid injuries, which is, of course, not an easy thing. And two, as a follow-up to that, how frustrating is it to be in this position, you know, to try to have to prove yourself, even though you're like a you know, six, seven-year veteran, so to speak? Um, I mean... It is what it is as far as we know what we sign up for as far as football comes. You know, um, yeah, it's a difficult thing to come come back from as far as the injuries and things like that. But um, we know what we signed up for when we decided to play the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can try to do as much as you can to prevent injuries. There's a lot out there that you can do. But in all honesty, it's football. You know, injuries come all type of ways, um, non-contact and contact. Um, so you just got to be prepared to – to bounce back from it in all honesty. And then and as far as my situation goes, um, like I said, it is what it is. Like for some of our backgrounds and where some of us came back, uh, came from, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not the hard part. You know what I'm saying? Like me having to battle and try to get a spot is not a hard p position for me. You know what I'm saying? This is something I've been doing all my life. So it's just, it's just part of something I've been doing. So Marquise would decide to sit out the 2020 season with COVID concerns. Marquise will later sign deals with the New England Patriots and also the San Francisco 49ers, but both situations wouldn't work out, and Marquise will be out the league by 29 years old. Even though Marquise's career didn't work out the way he wanted, he still made it far from where he came. This is Marquise Lee's story. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.